Well, a hazy smoke still covers the intersection on 4th and San Pedro, and some four hours after this fire broke out in a three-story commercial building, you can see firefighters still pouring water onto it. He's throwing this water about 150 feet onto that building. So I would venture to say between that 600 to 1,000 gallons per minute coming out of those hose lines, he's probably closer to 1,000 to get that type of... That was our uh, Stu Mundell overhead. This is a 100-plus-year-old three-story commercial building plus a basement. There was heavy fire on the second and the third floor when more than 100 firefighters responded. I'm told it was what they called a potential collapse hazard. So they retreated, went into a defensive posture. No one was inside. They opened up the water cannons, as you heard Stu mention, thousands of gallons per minute coming down onto that building. David Martinez lives nearby and watched it all. It was like a black ocean. It was like just, it was all covered. It was pretty disturbing, you couldn't breathe. It was difficult to breathe here, so I could just only imagine how impossible it'd be to breathe over there huge bulk of fire in the back of that building and as we understand it it's coming from the actually from the basement so traveling at least three stories to get up to that rooftop as far as we know there was no one inside um, and this building is over 100 years old so we started seeing uh, the building as a potential collapsed hazard and we had to take a defensive posture with uh, water cannons on the outside flowing thousands of gallons of water a minute to um, subdue the fire as you can see the fire now, we believe that building was used primarily for storage. It was filled with cardboard boxes, which provided quite a bit of fuel for the fire. Again, this is at 4th and San Pedro, the eastern edge of downtown, on the edge of Skid Row. Arson investigators are here, uh, Christine and Marla, which is routine. Uh, the speculation is this may be related to the homeless encampments, which fill the sidewalks here, but nothing on the cause just yet. Of course, the streets around this area will remain shut down for hours.